we're going to take you for a rare glimpse inside one of the most visible manufacturing landmarks in the Bay Area, the CNH plant in Crockett, California. You can't miss it when you come across the Carquinas Bridge. We get a very rare peek inside. The raw sugar is carried to the world's largest sugar refinery at Crockett, California. This refinery is devoted entirely to the refining and packaging of Hawaiian cane sugar. The CNH Sugar Refinery is celebrating a hundred years of sweet service. We boiled our first strike of sugar here in Crockett, California on March the 10th of 1906. Of all Bay Area factories, CNH, with its brick walls and occasional broken windows, is as close to what a traditional factory in the Midwest or on the East Coast might look like. And in that hundred years, company officials confirmed that our cameras were the first ever allowed inside. Here we make every possible grade type of sugar you can think of that's used in manufacturing and in the retail sector. We produce products for a grocery products division that ends up in supermarkets and mass merchandisers. So every package, every variety of sizes we make here at Crockett, California. Okay, right here we just climbed about uh, five floors and we're up here at the raw sugar silos at the very tops. When the ships come into Crockett, they carry upwards of 35,000 tons of raw sugar and that product is loaded into one of these nine silos here. The silos that you see hold about 12,500 tons a piece and we have capacity here to hold about 112,000 tons of sugar. The sugar that you see here is coming from the bottom of our bulk silos and it's on its way into the refinery right now. Once the raw sugar comes into the refinery, it is, goes through our affination process and that's where we take water and mix it with the sugar crystals. The crystals are, are pretty much 100% pure sucrose, but there, if there is any impurities, it's going to be on the outside of the crystals. Then the sugar is dropped down to our boiling pan, and they boil that sugar to a certain temperature, and the whole process here is to recrystallize that sugar into crystals, and they do that by, at a certain point, they add about three pounds of powdered sugar into the boiling pan. Those molecules of powdered sugar, those small bits, act as a catalyst for which each crystal is formed. When it's finished here and the pan boils, it goes down as kind of a dark syrup color. From the pan boils, it goes to the white sugar centrifugals, where it becomes the white granulated sugar that we're used to. But it's not quite ready for packaging yet. After the sugar leaves the centrifuges, it goes to the large dryers that you saw over there. After the sugar's dried properly, it goes through our screening process. At CNA Sugar Company, we have over 30 packaging lines that range from our one-pounders all the way up to, you might say, our totes, which hold about 2,000 pounds. Ever wonder how a sugar cube is made? Well, they do that here, too. There's only two of these machines in the United States, and our owners own both of them. But basically, what we have is our white granulated sugar. We add a moist syrup to that white granulated. Then it's forced and pressed into these molds. And then the layers are picked up with vacuum arms and put into the individual boxes. And then the boxes are coated and then sent onto the caser. C and H, C and H. A hundred years of operation in one location is a huge achievement for any company. Bill Duff clued us in on the secret. I think what made CNH Sugar successful for the last hundred years is the people. The people that have retired from CNH Sugar Company and the current workers that are working here now. They all take pride in their work and they work very hard. C and H, the pure cane sugar from Hawaii. Whee!